Good morning. Welcome to the Bibles Within. We're continuing our study in John chapter 8. We're going to be looking at verses 12 through 20 today. So we're going to start reading. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I came and neither where I, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that beareth witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father. These words spake Jesus in the treasury, as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Let's break this down. So we see here that after Jesus got through the thing with the woman, and she left, and he forgave her sins, he said, and after this, after this, then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Now, was this at the same exact time after the woman left, or was it some other time, a little later on in the day? That's hard to say. We just know it says, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. So he's just one of the great I am's of John. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Isn't that wonderful? Those of us that are Christians, we walk in the light because he is in the light, because he is the light. And therefore, our, our, our deeds should be light, not darkness. The Pharisees, therefore, said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. See, they want to say, you know, that he only bore record. By the way, he was not the only one that bore record of himself. But anyway, that's the side of the point. Jesus answered and said unto him, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know where I came from and whether I go, but ye cannot tell where I came from and whether I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. Jesus said, okay, let me tell you, first of all, your law said that you have to have two people. Well, I have two people. I have myself and I have my Father, which is in heaven. And uh, it was also written in your laws that the testimony of two is true. It's written in your law that the testimony is true of two is true. I am the one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Jesus did those miracles. That's the purpose of the miracles. The purpose of the miracles was to show the Father was pleased with the Son, that the Father was blessing the Son, that the Son was doing what the Father desired him to do. That's how he was doing the blessings, how he was doing the great miracles. All the miracles that he saw him do was because the Father blessed the Son. He said, it is also written, it says, I am the one that bear witness of myself and the Father. Verse 19, then said they unto him, where is thy father? Where is your father then? If your father bear witness, where is your father at? And Jesus, now they were, I think they did this on purpose to try to get him to admit that he was a son of God. Some people say Jesus never said he was a son of God. I don't know how they can get that because Jesus constantly says he's a son of God. Constantly says he's equal with God because he is. So for people to say that he never said that is deceiving themselves. They just want to come up with some type of uh, lost uh, argument because it's not true. He said, uh, uh, Neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, you should have known my father also. He said, You don't know him because you don't know God. You're lost. See, the lost, you can't, you know, don't be surprised when the lost does something wrong. Verse 20, These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. See, it wasn't time for him to go. They couldn't do anything about him. He was there preaching and teaching the word of God. Uh, Jesus is the light of the world. If you're not saved today, you're missing out on the light. And if you are saved, you need to be shining that light. I'll have time for today. We'll close in our prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity that we have that we can study your word. I pray right now we know, Lord, you are the light of the world. And we know, Lord, that we were in darkness until we saw the light. Now we walk in the light as you're in the light. I pray, Lord, you let our light shine so that others might see you through us. For so in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.